All right, so you bought yourself some crypto, you have your own cryptocurrency now, and you want to protect it, and you want to put it in a wallet, your own wallet, so you can control it, so it's safer, or so you can use it with DeFi and so on. But you don't know where to start, there's so many wallets out there, you've heard of hard wallets, you've heard of hot wallets, browser wallets, this wallets, that wallets, everywhere there's wallets. What kind of wallet do you need to get so you can use for your use case? That's what we're going to be talking about, and we're starting right now. Hey guys, I'm Bertha Fans. Remember, Paul is not a financial advisor, but he is good looking. Also, this is not financial advice. Please subscribe down below and check out my channel at Bertha Fans. Hey, welcome back. My name is Paul. Welcome to The Crypto Factor. And this channel is all about crypto, all about cryptopreneurship. And today we're going to be talking about crypto wallets. So you heard about crypto, you heard about crypto wallets, and you want to set one up so you can transfer your crypto to that wallet. Or maybe you bought some crypto on an exchange like we showed you in the last video. I'll leave the link up here and you want to transfer it to have custody so you can protect it use it whatever it's your right and you want to put it in your own wallet but there's a lot of wallets out there so we're going to talk about what wallets do what i know that that sounded weird basically we're going to be talking about the different types of wallets so let's get started now generally speaking there are two types of wallets there are hot wallets which are connected to the internet and there are hard wallets or cold wallets that are basically off grid kind of sort of i'll explain in a second and there are different types of wallets that fall into these two categories so you have your desktop wallets that sit on your desktop or mobile some are actually hybrid exodus for example which is one of my favorite wallet is a desktop wallet but you can also use it as an app on your phone then you have mobile wallets like trust wallet for example or coinomi and then you have web wallets that sit on your browser. And of course, there's also an app for these, but these are, for example, your MetaMask, which we'll be talking about how to sell up later on. Coinbase has a web wallet and more. Then you have your hard wallets. For example, Trezor, which is now the industry standard. I think it took Ledger's place. Trezor is an amazing hard wallet. This is a device you actually have, and you need this device to interact with your wallet, if that makes sense. Or for example, you have the Ledger Nano X. This is another hard wallet or cold wallet that you can use. This is also like a USB drive. It's got a little screen, just like the Trezor, and you can use it to interact with your wallet or you could have something like the Elipal, which is a bit more advanced in the sense that it looks like a phone. See, there you go. It's air-gapped, it's safe, it's secure. It's actually a very good wallet. And you can use this as a big screen so you can see all your cryptocurrency and so on. So you have the Elipal, or you can even have paper wallets what are paper wallets well you just write down your your code your seed phrase your everything down and it's on paper so it doesn't interact with anything it's kind of cool and you can do that with something like this this is a crypto tag they actually sent this as a gift um, this is not sponsored by the way they actually sent this i'm not going to read this out to you right now but it was pretty cool um they sent this as a gift to the crypto factor and let me just show you here this is actually a really cool gift and if you want to get someone a gift it's pretty cool you can write down your passphrase here you got your setup guide here and you get this box essentially you have your wallet here just metal undestructible survives uh, fires and you engrave everything in here using this that comes in the box it's actually quite quite amazing you get different gifts with it as well for example they got me well i'm not sure if they if you get this um if you buy the wallet but they sent me this really cool hodler bottle and leather case for it it's actually amazing i'm actually happy with crypto tag i'll leave the links in the description down below as a matter of fact i'll leave links to all of these wallets they will be affiliate links so if you want to help me out please use those links down below but essentially those are the cold wallets you you actually have so you have your ledgers your treasures your paper wallets you even have tangent wallets tangent wallets are pretty cool because they're kind of a hybrid let me show you something See, this is 
a wallet. This is a Tangem wallet. It's a hard wallet, but you control it with your phone. So you have the Tangem app here with all your crypto, but in order to transact, it's not enough to just put your password in there. You have to scan this. You have to have it close to your phone. It has a chip and that's the only way it makes a transaction. So it's a hybrid sort of cold wallet, which is actually quite awesome, by the way. It's called Tangem. That's also linked down below. And then of course you can do your own version. For example, Exodus wallet works with Trezor but you can also have it on your phone. For example, I have another phone here somewhere here. I have the old iPhone 13 mini, right? And I have Exodus on here and I have this not online or anything and I just use my old phone as a wallet. That's why I don't throw away my old iPhones. Since I have this open, let me just show you. Um, I'm full of iPhones here because I actually have many wallets, right? So it's actually quite convenient. The good thing is to have multiple wallets. That way, if one gets hacked, then you don't lose your, you know, everything. You don't lose your shit. You actually have backups. And then you can use each depending on what you're doing with that wallet. For example, if you want to work with DeFi, decentralized finance, make swaps and stuff like that, you need an online wallet. You'll use a MetaMask or a Phantom wallet or a Kepler, depending on which chain you're using. Now, MetaMask is also EVM, so you can use it on different chains as well. So it all depends on what you're doing. Does that make sense? Probably not. But if you want to get into DeFi and see how to set up a MetaMask wallet, I'm going to leave a link at the end of the video and in the description description down below that actually explains how to set up a MetaMask wallet. And the way you set up all these wallets are pretty much the same. They're very easy. You, you just follow instructions. It just goes step by step. You write down your seed phrase, which you, your, your, your private uh, key phrase, which you never share. You don't show somebody like on camera or anything like this, like I've seen some Muppets do. And then your public phrase is the one you do share to get money. So you have your hot wallets and you have your hard wallets and you have to decide which ones you use for which scenarios. Depending on what I'm doing, I have all of these. The most convenient ones you can actually hold is your Exodus wallet and your Tangem wallet, in my opinion. These are very very good beginner wallets. They're very easy to use and they're versatile in most situations. And if you want to work with DeFi, decentralized finance, you want to have your MetaMask wallet. So start with these three wallets. And if you want to know how to set up a MetaMask wallet and actually use it in decentralized finance, actually make swaps, make sure you watch this video right here. It takes you through setting up a MetaMask wallet and even making some swaps and shows you how to use it. So watch this video here. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you in that video. See you there.